Well, the more we learn, the crazier it is the Victorian Premier Daniel Andrews has decided to ban gas connections to new homes as of next January. And this is supposedly to save the planet from global warming. Now, apart from the fact that the Premier seems to be a bit of a hypocrite, happily cooking with gas at his home, even to feed Prime Minister Anthony Albanese, worse is that this will actually increase emissions because electricity in Victoria actually comes mostly from gassy, very gassy brown coal. And that's not likely to change anytime soon. And Victorians being asked to move more to electricity gets even nuttier when you consider that Victoria is actually running short of electricity. In fact, very short by 2026. That's the warning from Australia's energy market operator. Joining me is the panel, former Victorian Liberal President Michael Kroger and former Labor Senator Steve Conroy, a former Cabinet Minister and a red-hot fan of the Matildas who are going to be playing tonight in the <laughs> World Cup, in case you were wondering why a guy would choose to wear something so yellow on this set. <laughs> to rest my eyes, I'm going to move first. To Steve Conroy. It looks a bit like a homeless man. I know, I was wondering if there's a traffic light next to you. Yeah. Um, about this gas ban. Mm. So we, Victoria's... But the state that's running shortest of electricity, so you know, and it's got high prices, and in fact, it's got this brown coal, so it would actually increase emissions. Can you explain to me the point of this pointless ban? It's just virtue signalling to the inner city seats, Andrew, where Labor hopes to wrestle some seats from the Greens and keep control of its, uh, of its majority. But as you pointed out, I mean, you burn coal, um, uh, create steam. Uh, powers the wind, the, the, the turbines, turns the turbines, which creates electricity. And uh, given the fact that we're going to have to increase the use of electricity in Victoria, it means more brown coals are going to have to be burnt. Um, no, this is virtue signalling by the Andrews government that wants to keep being seen to be very progressive. And by the way, by the way, keep attention away from Robert Redlick's appearance today before the Parliamentary Committee in relation to the Anti-Corruption Commission. Yeah, it was, that was pretty damning. But can you explain, what is this about? It won't cut emissions. In fact, it'll increase them. And we're running short of electricity. Why are you making more Victorians Well, look, I mean, it? I think I'd, be, I'd probably support Chris Minns, who said he's not interested in going down this path. I think it's a little forward-leaning, as you make the point. that forward Vic, Victoria is going to have the most pressure on electricity supplies going forward. Uh, and I, I, I would have preferred the Chris Minns and federal approach. Gas is part of the transition. And to take, take gas appliances out this early uh, is a little counterproductive, as I think the point you've made. But I, I just think it puts an, an increased pressure at a time when we need to have a, a, a phase in approach rather than just a hard bang. Well, Michael said it was just politics, one could say ideology too. Is that how you see it? No, look, I, if this was being phased out over, you know, to 2030, I think that would be very reasonable. But the hard yeah. deadline makes it really difficult wow. to, uh, to get behind. Meanwhile, he can cook with gas at home and everyone mm. else... Uh, mm.